talk a little bit about that, your passion uh, with us, and um, I'll just leave it to you. Welcome. Thank you, Thanks a lot. Uh, I started Aikido right about when I started praying, I think, and I've been doing it ever since I'm 18 now, so I've been doing it for about 13 years. Aikido is a pretty young martial art. It was founded by this guy, uh, Morike Ueshiba in Japan. And what he did is he sort of looked at all the other martial arts in Japan and he found that there was something missing. He found that the thing that was missing was sort of uh, kindness and gentler attitude towards martial arts. So he made Aikido with the intention of sort of making a martial art that whose purpose was not to destroy your opponent, but to create a win-win situation. Okay? It's a completely defensive martial art. There are no attacks on Aikido. You can only defense it. And the idea is that when someone comes in and attacks, you create a win-win situation for you and your opponent. You don't hurt your opponent, and your opponent doesn't hurt you. Okay? And that can be done... Uh, in a variety of ways. And uh, very glad to have my old dojo here. They should be coming out any moment. Uh, uh, Santa Barbara Aikido, Aikido Santa Barbara. It's down on Coda and Milpas. And we're going to show you guys some Aikido today. And uh, it should be fun. So, just starting off, there are two basic parts to training in Aikido you learn how to throw, and you learn how to take a throw. Okay? Uh, learning how to throw is very important. Learning how to take a throw is also very important. Okay? And they're both integral parts of what Aikido is. You can't have one without the other. You can't, you can't throw someone without learning how to take a throw yourself. Okay? So it's everything from the most basic throw, the basic roll, right? So if I'm walking here and I tell them, whoops, I'm just going to roll like that. Okay? And I punch. Okay? If I'm walking in a loop, I bounce backwards, I'm just going to roll like that. I punch. And then if someone, if I, you know, attack someone, and they throw me really hard, okay, they can catch me like that, and it's fine, it doesn't hurt, it just takes a lot of practice, okay? <laughs> so, hopefully what we're going to show you today is some interesting, what we call techniques, right? So, technique is when someone comes in and attacks me, and I throw them, they take a penny and they're not hurt. And uh, let me see if these guys are ready. Hey, you guys ready? All right, come on out. Okay. What you're going to see now is what happens before every Aikido class. The whole class comes in. By the way, this is Sensei Tostoff, Chief Instructor of uh, Santa Barbara and Kai. As my name is the other Chief Instructor of Santa Barbara and Kai. Uh, okay, so let's start. Francesca, you want to start?
prescribed set of steps, do you know what you're going into, or are you responding to each other? You, uh, you see we all have these sort of skirt things on, which are how hot it was. So at this level, we sort of just respond, and then whatever happens sort of happens. But when you're beginning, you have sort of a choreography, a set step, what you must do, and what you cannot do. The thing you will find for every technique, <laughs> the thing you will find for every technique is if he's coming in this way, <coughs> he's gonna punch me. He's gonna get off the line. That's the thing that happens in every single technique. And I can get off the line that way, this way, you know. I can do a lot of things. No. <coughs> That's, that's what's consistent with everything, and then you just change the key. Does that answer your question? Yeah, please. Yeah. Um, who's been doing it the longest? Who's been doing it the longest? Who's been doing it the longest? Notice that um, first move wasn't a block, but it was a sidestep for, for many of them using the other person in the same <coughs> string or a block. That. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the other fundamental basis of Aikido. That's why Aikido is so self-defensive. Is uh, you use the attack energy against them. <laughs> so if someone attacks me like Travis, <laughs> someone attacks me like Travis, right? He's really big and stuff. How am I going to get him down if he tries to punch me? Okay, just use his energy against him.
no IQ for competition because of the nature of it, right? You can't attack someone with IQ. So how are you supposed to compete? You, you can't attack someone. You can't compete, right? It's a non-competitive thing. And that's a really good thing because everyone learns at their own pace. It's completely, I mean, it's a tough workout, but it's not as sort of pressured as some of the other workouts. Yeah? Does Nick Boyle take Yes. Okay. How dumb is he? He's seven. Nick. 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 Does Aikido help you in any other sports? Oh yeah, it's great for reflexes. Um, someone attacking really quickly, you have to react. It's great for balance, because even though it looks like we're losing our balance all the time, it takes a lot of balance for the person who's throwing to stay on their feet. And it's a great overall body workout. Like I said, it doesn't emphasize the upper body, but it really works out your entire body when you're flying through the air and get to land correctly, and then get back up and get thrown again. Um, it helps every sport you possibly think of, except for maybe golf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, see, and then you get your kids involved, and then you, know, you start getting involved in mine. Yeah. How long does it take you to learn how to do it? Well, about a day. You start learning when you come to the dojo, right? I mean, like, Everyone here, even though we've all reached a certain level, are still working on it. Okay. So we're all still learning a lot of things. I know I, I learn a lot every time I work out. So when you come into the dojo, you learn how to do it really quickly. You work really hard. Yeah. You have time for learn more. Yeah. Okay. 